Barry Bonds the Hall of Famer, right? I mean, no question. Yeah. So is Roger Clemens. Barry Bonds was, you know, I mean, after early in his career with Pittsburgh, we we got him out, and we and we got him out down and away a lot, and then we got away with a few pitches too. When I look back on the playoff game in Pittsburgh, but in San Francisco, uh, there was a coach there that I played ball with in AAA. His name was Tommy Sand, and he was the first base coach in Pittsburgh. Then Bonds left. Went to San Francisco. So we were in Pittsburgh. I said, hey, Tommy. I said, tell me a little bit about Bonds. I said, God almighty, nobody's getting him out anymore. He said, well, Leo, he says, when you go in to play him in San Francisco, check out his batting average and his power numbers. He said, if his, if his batting average is down, he's going to shoot you to left center. If his power numbers are down, he's going to turn and burn. And I went, he's that good. Huh? He goes, yep, he's that good. So we would go over a meeting in San Francisco, and they'd say, well, how are you going to pitch Bonds? I said, we're going to get the first two guys out that hit in front of him, so we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> and with, 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 with nobody on, we pitched to him. Anytime after the sixth, if he was, if he was the winning run, the tying or winning run, we didn't. What That's how good he was. That's the only hitter that we ever did that with. 